that means that basically his testosterone levels will be quite high and he'll be thinking about mating but he's not quite big enough to be genuinely competing for mating opportunities although he is massive I mean he's probably five tons five thousand kilograms ten thousand five hundred pounds Elaine, a nice one from you about how the elephants are going to respond to this drought. Will they become cranky, or, uh, you know, as the nutrition starts to, starts to affect them, the lack of nutrition? You want to know if they'll become cranky or not. Elaine, I think it's possible, certainly, that as they become more and more stressed, they could become crankier, uh, less likely to be as relaxed as they are now. I think that is definitely a possibility. I don't think it's going to be result in danger for us, but I definitely think that it's going to result in them being stressed, and you know exactly the same as with you. When you feel stressed out, well, you're just not quite as nice. I don't think, well, I'm certainly not. When I'm stressed, I'm not quite as nice as I might be otherwise. <laughs> well, there goes that tree. Isn't that amazing? The strength of that, I mean, so, I mean, I couldn't hang on that branch. I could have, well, I could easily hang on that branch and it wouldn't break, it would hardly bend. This elephant has just wedged it between his tusks and his trunk and snapped it off. Quite remarkable. Magnificent fellow, he really is. And he's really doing a number on that plant. Look at that! Look at that! That's a fantastic, fantastic view of what he's able to do with his trunk and his tusks there. And now he's actually got his teeth onto it, I think. Fantastic. Justin, um, you want to say why isn't, or you, your comment is that elephants have got so many wrinkles, are they identifiable by their wrinkles, like in the same way that a fingerprint is usable for identity? Um, Justin, they probably are. I have no doubt they're all unique. Um, whether or not they change, I don't know, but I think there are easier ways to identify elephants. Look from the brutality of breaking that branch off, that incredibly dexterous very delicate. Look at the delicate fingers on that trunk. Unbelievable. I think this is fantastic. Um, so, Justin, yes, I mean, you, know, you could probably take, uh, identify elephants by their, by their wrinkles, but I think you'd look at their tusks, the condition of their ears, before you, you know, before you went as far as trying to identify elephants from their individual wrinkles. I think it would be very time-consuming and quite difficult. 